So you need to be careful that it's without blemish, the spotless lamb. It needs to be a spotless lamb that they bring up here because there's no forgiveness of sins until you go and bring that sacrifice to the priest and then he says, this is to atone for the sins of, of you and your family and everything. And then he does the blessing that God's name may be upon you and, and all that. So as they're sifting here, they're finding all kinds of cool things that were used like in the tabernacle. They had grain, jars of grain they found that were burned by the Philistines, still preserved almost like fossilized, preserved for thousands and thousands of years. Right over in the, around there they found it in the storage areas from the Israelite storage when the Philistines attacked and burned the city and the glory has departed and all that. I'm excited to say that God's plans still continue for this place. Great things in store such as, oh, 12 flags, 12 tribes returning to this place that was once desolate. Sounds of joy and gladness of the bride and the bridegroom that they will come and rebuild the waste places. We're seeing all this come to pass right now. Now, there isn't any magic way to have a baby. You know, Hannah prayed here. That's her thank you prayer. That's not her prayer. No one knows what her prayer was. No one knows where Moses is buried. Just saw her mouth moving and he said, oh, are you drunk? He said, no, it's only three o'clock or whatever. Uh, so, <laughs> that's what they said about the, the, the Galileans. So, right here is her thank you prayer. She was able to thank God and she said, and I'll read it, and Hannah prayed and said, My heart exalts the Lord. My stature is exalted. I rejoice in your salvation. Wow. None is as holy but God. You know, you are, the, um, da -da -da, you have all knowledge. Da -da -da -da. You made the barren woman, given her seven children and the many of, and you've given life where there's death, in short. So I think it's good to recognize that we're in exciting times of history and take some quiet time with God, have some worship.